Hey guys, what's up? I am Pronoops from Server 25. Today in this new video, I am going to talk about Crystal Mine. How to select opponent to draw from them and which floor should you gather. So let us enter in the Crystal Mine and check out that. So let us enter in the Crystal Mine. So the first thing. If you have stats more than 200% attack and even if you have level 9 insect then only you should go for this crystal mine of level 5 floor. But in the meantime if you do not have that then you should be going in the lower level of crystal mine. Moreover guys we will enter in it and we will check out more details of it so they are giving me two options since i have reached a level 5 highest floor so they are asking me either you go to level 5 or you challenge the guard so it uh, since i have already reached you can say enter mine level 5 or challenge the guard okay so when i clicked on challenge so this time i am going to challenge a level 6 guard you can see here mine guard on level 6 so <clears throat> obviously i will lose i need some more improvement but yeah you can also check out that i need improvement either in special and evolution or insect so if i do a quick improvement in this i can move more ahead guys the second thing guys if i enter in this mine then i can get 320 per hour so a lot of guys were asking how do you gather more than 1000 so if I go back to my account and if I check out my gatherings then I can see 800 uh, yeah here it is 1800 even for 1300 1100 so maximum time I am gathering more than 1000 so the reason behind this is two things only my special ants and also my level 9 insects i have also shown my battle report in my last video if you have higher combat speed then obviously you are going to win you can see here too since this guy has more combat speed he won against me but if he had lower combat speed he must have lost against me moreover guys if you have higher combat speed then level 9 insect will somehow it will almost be negligible takes effect you can say that yeah this guy has just level 8 atlas vigil but he has higher combat speed that is he does not have even special and skill damage and special and skill defense but still he defeated me that was because of this combat speed but yeah now let us move to the crystal mine and let us check out how to choose a opponent since you can see we have total rest chance 5 and we have total available plunder times 5 and if you plunder once you have to wait for 20 minutes to plunder next guy there are more things more attributes we are going to check out right now so uh, i will just select a guy who has more than thousand gathering with him okay so no one has in this floor so we will go to another floor uh okay okay yeah so i can see one has 944 then i'm going to click on view information and i will check out if he has vip6 that means if if someone has less than VIP 8, that means he is not getting buffs from VIP. Only he is getting buffs either from his own evolution and all other things. So, I can challenge him. Maybe I will be defeated, but I can challenge him. Then the second thing is guys, you should check his server too. So, I can see his server is 3. So, my winning chance has been decreased since he is older player than me but still since we have five chance we can take a risk here okay so i have already told you my winning chance was low but still you can see if i will change my special ants formation and all then i think i can defeat him but why to waste time he has one cryptic and two i think 
so i can see he has also 806 gathering and he is has vip level 11 and also from server 24 that means just one server low i am and since he has vip level 11 he is getting buffs from vip 2 that means if i attack him there is also a chance that i will be defeated but still let us go since we have five chances we can take risk but you can see I have told you since VIP 11 he can be stronger but that guy will not have combat speed extra combat speed with him. So if he has level 9 Rov Vittel and I have also level 9 Rov Vittel with same combat speed I will win. Since uh, when you are attacking someone this uh, whoever has higher combat speed what happened that moment. Whoever has, if the battle goes with the same combat speed, like I have also 303, enemy has also 303, and I initiated the attack, that means I will, my troops will go to him and will attack him first. So this happened at the at this battle report too. My troops initiated the attack first. Th that gave me benefit because my special ants will use their skills earlier than this guy carcel special ants that means my special ant bear more faster than him so if you have level 9 combat speed you can say level 9 raw vittle which can give you combat speed as an end spender and also guys if you have done this shooter and combat speed maximized then you can easily win level 5 crystal mines as i have already told you guys so if you are doing all these things then move ahead the second thing is how does this stats take effect so let us click on unit attribute let us click on this attack so i can see there are total seven type of things which is taking effect and one more thing that is items can will also take effect you can see the maximum evolution uh land spender can get is 145 percent if you have advanced combat with you but here i can see that just i have 80 percent why does this happen i know this question may come in your mind too so guys there are few researches few evolutions which is not going to take effect in this crystal mine let us go inside it so you can see here when all three squads in any of your units are carrier ants or even any type of ants you will get 30 percent extra bonus but here guys you are not going to get that but this is happening with you let us go inside it again since they have told any of your unit are shooter ants when all three squads in any of your units are shooter ants but do you know that this the whenever you try to attack in the mine you your troops are not of the same squads of the same units but how does it get determined so we are going to check out a rule for that let us go to the christian mind rules first squad that means your first unit front row where uh, the first squad's special and can be deployed after evolving secondary leadership under pro unit evolution what does this mean so if you have done the secondary leadership evolution under pro unit then you can deploy your first special and if you haven't did that then you cannot send this special and there at the same time also it is same for second unit special and which you can check out in this battle report when you will click on unit attributes and click on this 191 then you can see here special and just 40 percent since i told you that they are from the separate units they are from the separate units these squads are from the separate units then the different skill of this special ant will not take effect let us go inside the skill let us click on is it general and let us click it out here 
in its squad shooter and defense so this was for its squad but here you can see in its unit shooter and attack plus 35 percent so this skill guys is not going to take effect in this battle report in this battle report just because you can see in its unit so in its unit that means when you are playing pve not this crystal mine then this is going to be take effect in all your three squads plus 35 percent for all the three squads but here just plus 35 percent for the squads in which this ac general will be so these are the basic difference between pve and pvp that pve of christian mind thank you guys for watching this video we are almost lacking two last 200 subscribers to do the giveaway do it right now if you haven't subscribed our channel thank you guys see you soon